Here we will be addressing the skill identification of recombinants in crosses involving two linked genes. So here's an example question. We have parent 1 and parent 2. Notice that they are represented with the notation that would be used on an IB examination. The question here is, using a similar format, identify the genotypes of offspring which are recombinants. So I have some advice for you in approaching this question. First of all, you will need to cross over, form that chiasma and exchange DNA between the maternal and the paternal chromosomes. Then you're going to go through meiosis as previously demonstrated to form gametes, but I strongly advise that you keep your alleles, the letters, on the lines with the same notation and not lose the lines because the lines indicate a chromosome and therefore indicates linkage. Then continue this notation into your Punnett square and identify the offspring. So here I'm going to take you through that example in the way that I have advised and hopefully this will help you. So as recommended, the notation has been used that one would use on the IB exam. So we have parent one versus parent two. Now in parent one, if we separate the homologous pair, these are the gametes that we would get. But it's also possible to have that recombination represented by the green arrow. And therefore you could also have these two gametes in green. So I've represented the gametes as a result of recombination in green. Now on parent two, you could go through meiosis exactly the same way and you separate the homologous pair and you would end up with this kind of gamete. Now you could consider recombination taking place, but if it does, it produces the same gamete. So we don't really need to repeat it twice. We can just stick with the original um, gamete is the only one that would be formed by parent two. So we're gonna take these gametes and we put the gametes into a Punnett square. Now notice, I realize that there are a lot of lines here, but we are trying to maintain the same notation because that way you can observe the linkage and where the alleles are in terms of being linked on the same chromosome. Now, I've also maintained that my recombined gametes, the, the recombinants are in green. So that as a result of this, you can see that the offspring as a result of the recombinant gametes are the two at the bottom in the Punnett square. Now there's a shorter version of this, um, which I have detailed in your keynote if this helps, but I think the longer version and seeing how I would write it out is a great example. So using a similar format, well, what we're saying here is the recombinant offspring are as follows. How is it possible to have achieved that? I just demonstrated it as a written example, but what you have is that parent one undergoing chiasmata formation and um, recombination so that you now have what is observed at the bottom of the slide. Those are um, the situation after recombination. After that recombination, we can then go ahead and separate the homologous pair. I did demonstrate this before, and therefore we have these gametes. Now the gametes that you see on the left-hand side are only those that result from recombination, so you're not seeing the other ones um, that, that did not go through recombination. But since the task is to identify the recombinants, um, these are really the only two that we need to pay attention to. So then we go through our Punnett square and those are the recombinant offspring, exactly the same as before. They are formed from fertilization as a result of parent one and parent two's gametes.